Animal Crossing New Horizons is a game that's meant to be played over many weeks, so if you're like us, you're still playing and discovering new things every day. That means we have a couple more tips to make you the best resident representative around. Faster crafting. This one may seem a bit obvious, but you can significantly speed up crafting time in Animal Crossing New Horizons by spamming the A button during the crafting animation. This is especially useful when you are mass producing the hot item of the day or fish bait. Infrastructure tips. Chances are by the time you've unlocked the resident services building, you'll want to move a few buildings and build a couple bridges and slopes. The catch is that you can only relocate one building per day and you can only have one public works project open at a time. This makes development feel a tad slow, especially if you plan on redesigning your entire island. However, it's important to keep in mind that Tom Nook can take on a relocation project and a bridge or slope project at the same time. Pitfall Seeds Apart from earning you some Nook Miles, Pitfall Seeds don't serve much of a material purpose in Animal Crossing New Horizons, but I'd be lying if I said they weren't fun. The best way to get Pitfall Seeds is through a DIY recipe. However, if you have a friend who's already found the recipe, they can bury the seed in the ground for you. When you dig it up, you'll automatically learn the recipe. Welcoming new villagers. You're probably aware that you can send letters to villagers at the airport, but you might be surprised at what kinds of words and ideas they will recognize. For example, you can send a welcome letter to a new villager and they'll respond thanking you for making them feel at home on their new island. This boosts your friendship with them. Balloon spawns. There are a few things you should know about how balloons work, especially if you're hoping to get DIY recipes or other specific items from them. First, the color of the balloon doesn't determine what's in the present, it's random. Second, they'll spawn from the east during the day and the west at night. Catching pests. If you're trying to complete your Critterpedia, there's a few semi-hidden bugs you need to know about. Flies, ants, and fleas. You can catch flies and ants at any time of the year and during any time of day. To catch flies, set out some garbage you fished up and walk around until a fly starts buzzing around them. To catch ants, do the same with spoiled turnips. Fleas will appear on poor, unsuspecting villagers from April to November in the Northern Hemisphere and from October to May in the Southern Hemisphere. They'll talk about being itchy, so to catch the flea and also do them a favor, just swing your net at them. You won't actually hit them with your net and they'll be grateful instead of peeved. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Horizons on my Nintendo Switch. If there are any more tips you found, please let us know in the comments below and be sure to check out our other Animal Crossing guides like 11 things you should do every day and how to become a millionaire. Thanks for watching.